The Inc. 12 project, a collaboration of Turk and MIT, is developing tablet software to support elementary students learning multiplication and division. Classroom Learning Partner, or CLP, provides students with tools to create representations of multiplicative structures. Students use the tablet's pen to draw, annotate, write, and highlight with a selection of colors, and easily erase their work. CLP's tools highlight different aspects of multiplication and division. The stamp tool allows students to create representations of situations involving multiple identical groups. For this problem, students create a stamp, enter the number of objects that it represents, and make copies by dragging on the stamp handle. This student drew a spider with eight legs and stamped four copies. Then she drew a butterfly with six legs and stamped nine copies. She skip counted to find the answer. The Array tool lets students create and manipulate arrays to visualize relationships among different products. Students create an array by specifying its dimensions, divide it into smaller arrays by cutting it, solve the smaller array problems, and add up the products to get the answer. Arrays can also be snapped back together. This student divided the 34 by 68 array into four smaller arrays, solved the smaller problems, and added up the products to get the answer. The number line tool provides students with a way to visualize division as a process of counting a series of equal jumps. For this problem, students create a number line using the dividend as a length and make jumps by the given factor to determine the quotient. The tool provides feedback by showing the size of the jumps, which students can use to correct their work. This student created a number line up to 48 and made jumps of 8 until the end. She counted the jumps she made to get the quotient of 6. The division tool provides students with a visual model for division in terms of arrays. The student specifies a product and one factor to create a division template. The product appears at the top and the factor as a vertical dimension. Since the quotient is unknown, the horizontal dimension is unfinished. Students fill the template with arrays and the total area of the snapped arrays is displayed at the bottom. When no more arrays can fit into the template, the quotient appears at the bottom and the remainder appears on the right. Once a student is done working on a page, she wirelessly submits her work. CLP can also analyze student work to help teachers identify what is hard for students. For example, CLP can examine how a student used the division tool to see what she is struggling with. CLP notes that the student tried to add multiple arrays even when there was no space left in the division template, so suggests she may have trouble with remainders. Teachers can find students struggling with remainders by sorting by trouble with remainders. They can also sort by the representation type students use to solve a problem. Arrays, number lines, or stamps in this example. The ability to sort student work helps teachers choose examples so that students can see and discuss a variety of problem-solving strategies. For more information, visit our website.